got hot, it's too hot. Is it? Got to 98. Morning YouTube. So today we are going to Snetterton with the EG. It's now nearly 6 a.m. So I've got a three hour drive ahead of me. I'm going to try and catch Pete and Josh up. First test day for the EG. I'm going to test the map that we did on um, last Saturday. See if everything's okay. It's a full power map, so it's not going to be the race map. So we are quite close. Say another 10 minutes. And um, look what I caught up to. Made it safe. Just gonna get the uh, car unloaded off the trailer now. Managed to get it on with the aero all in place, which is good. It's gonna be a bit touch and go, but seems to have worked. Uh, is that the unloading device? <laughs> Sighting laps are over. Josh is just checking the tyre pressures, getting him ready. He's not been out yet. Need to find sound testing. Um, see if we can figure out where that is. Yeah, get out on track. He's not going to be going full send because we need to make sure that it's going to be all right. But should be interesting, nevertheless. Josh going out for his first lap, managed to miss sighting laps. Thought I might have an overheating issue while he was sat queuing, but it seems to have sorted itself out. Need to work on my filming technique. First successful lap down. Hopefully plenty more to come. Yeah.
Yeah, you see how much on the camera, I think it's good. Fucking, it's fast. Yeah. It's faster yeah. than that atom. Is it? Like, easy. I could have driven faster on that back straight. Okay, now. <laughs> which one? The Jackson Racing one? I don't know which it's one. There's two. There's a V8 one and a Jackson Racing one. Have you seen that TCR car out there as well? Yeah, I was behind that, but I was just sort of getting into it. There's a savage shake, similar to like the carbon of the rain. Yeah. When I'm half on the brakes, but it could be something. Nothing's loose because I went you... through it all last night. Yeah, have you bedded them? Or tried to? Tried to. Just get breaking hard. <laughs> oh, it feels flat. Is it good? Yeah, but it got hot, it's too hot. Is it? it got to 98. Brake pedal, are right? Yeah. Oh good, I couldn't send it, no. <laughs> <laughs> we need a bonnet then, is that what you're thinking? Yeah, but yeah. Something we need to do, something. As soon as, I was out for a little while, but as soon as, it was like the Accord, as soon as you get yeah. on it, it just gets too hot. It runs through the gears almost too fast. Like that. <laughs> you want to try jacking the back of the bonnet around? I don't think it'll work. I'm not sure how well it works. You might have to try some. I'll let it cool down. The fan and fucking... Trip it again, so I need to upload the PMU software to my laptop. It's still there. <laughs> the bonnet prop in there, it's a piece of wood that's got I've been on fire at one end. <laughs> oh yeah, I know the bit. <laughs> fire broke it. Yeah, I just need to see what it's actually at. Luckily, I remember. To I, got, I don't think a vent is going to just sort it. <laughs> Imagine yeah. it would be at less power, won't it? But yeah. It's just fucking stacked cool. Shite. Like, annoyingly, the S2000 one's like too cold. It doesn't even matter for me. Mm. Whereas your card ran too hot. The EK was bad. Well, we haven't done anything different apart from the sandwich coolers between. What are you doing, raising the bonnet at the back? I'm dry it. Yeah. yeah.
got no light left at all now. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Oh. Is it any better? You are. Right. Is the temp any better? Uh, it just sits at 102. Even with the blowers on? I mean, if it. The main thing is it stops going up, which is what I sort of settled with on the Accord. Yeah. What about that TCR thing? It's on slip traffic. Yeah, well, I started to. I seen him coming. So I dropped him, but I'd left it too long to get near him. Yeah. And I tried to make it up in the straight, but he was on it. It could be up on power, not in the trim, you know what I mean? I was like, I had to just dial it back to not go savage in the morning, you know what I mean? Yeah, it keeps yeah. trying to lock the front wheels when I'm on it. Yeah. So I've moved the bias more, yeah. you know, so it's not working the fronts as much. But I might move it there. again. Got you a drink? Oh, mate, got you. Yeah, I'm just chilling a minute. <laughs> It's quite lighter than we think, Josh, does it so fast? <laughs> Maybe. It's 420 hours. But it's about 400 hours per ton. Just finished lunch. Josh just gone back out for his uh, what is it? Fourth session now, I think. Hopefully, I'll get a shot, uh, a few shots of different corners. He's going to try and stay out for quite a while to try and replicate the race conditions. The sessions are 45 minutes in the race, and so uh, need to get used to staying out for a bit longer than feels normal. But yeah, everything's going well. Um, no major issues really, which is good. Hopefully, the rest of the afternoon will be. Issue three as well. A very successful day.
Needs to be about a foot longer that ball. bruised and battered from a Josh tractor. Yeah, no major issues really apart from the splitter. 
Yeah, so I didn't get time to put the support wires on the splitter. So it was a bit dubious, but it seemed all right in the first session or two, apart from a bit of juddering. And when I finally picked up the pace on the brakes. That one took me back. I'm doing an out for a thing. So what's, what's next then? Fix that splitter? Yeah, I need to reinforce the splitter. I've got some carbon left over from the diffuser, so I'll, I'll try to do that instead of buying a full sheet of bar. It's quite expensive. But that light just exploded pretty much on the site. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it seems we don't really know how much fuel's in the car. I've wired in the sensor. But I think because I've got all the poor resistors on the same power source, I think the pressure, uh, the real temperature. When it first went, I did a few consecutive steady laps, just sort of letting off about 120 on the straights before it, it, it was doing it quite bad when I carried on. In hindsight, I should have cared a bit more and pulled in sooner. It's just the way I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, other than that, it was good. The car feels really good to drive, trust you guys. It's absolutely ballistic in, in a straight line. Quite deceiving because of the way that it makes the power. I didn't realize how fast I'm going when I cancel it off for the corner. <laughs> yeah. well, it was a bit scruffy in the morning when I could actually see right through the straights, so it was a bit sore in the bends, but all in all, it was good. Nothing major to report. Yeah. Next thing is time attack. Yeah, and Cadwell. So I need to get that sort. Oh, the oil pressure sensor just stopped working. Right at the it's end. Not hoping it's nothing. What it is, it's just stopped working. Yeah. So I'll try it, but I'll take it off my plate and see if oil comes out of it for a start. And <laughs> then that is just broken. Yeah. Um, other than that. Good day. Didn't start knocking very bad while I nursed it in a quarter of a lap back to the pits. Nah. With supposedly no oil. Then I was going to stop and get to the end of the day, that guy. I was yeah. confident enough. Turn the ice layer off. Oh, yeah. When the crevices have been stored and ready to go to scrap, all the stuff's blown out of all the crevices. It was absolutely mint in here before we start. Yeah. But I found where I like the bias valve. So in the morning I was locking the front. So there was a bit too much bias towards the front, and doing too much wear. Yeah, but I got that and it won't lock in the rears when I changed it. So. That's all spot on though. The track's really good. I was going to say, yeah. the track. Good circuit. Yeah. yeah, it's really good. Obviously, they only had a handful of laps, not a handful of laps, but it's my very first time here for that. It's good. Better than Cadwell. <laughs> <laughs> Never. I like the speed, though. It's good. Like, like before, well, right as the split and run, I think I topped six foul, which is under the fourth bar. Yeah. Yeah, it's a long straight line. The laps were very flowing at that point, but straight line speed was easy enough to get there. Feeling confident about the series then? Yeah, I think it'll be pretty competitive. I was with one of the guys in the series early on, and yeah. what much, much trouble and whether like, it seemed like we were both sort of on it having a play. Is that that E36? Yeah, the, the blue one. S54 E36 class A. Promising. Uh, yeah, I got my rhythm in it a bit in the afternoon, but I couldn't come see a lap through because of the splitter. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. That's what it's all about, innit? Yeah. Fat, fat That's in why I came here because it's the fastest straight, so we can see what the. Yeah. I've got the diffuser stayed on. Yeah. So it's harder to replace the splitter. And that's all good. Because stairs can keep the arrow on, as you see. Energy than I have all day right now. <laughs> <laughs> Talking 
it to the company. Yeah, now it's got a, Well, you've got probably a four or five hour drive home. Yeah. I've got a three hour. No worries. Cheers, Jules. Bye. See you later. Bye, Pete.